Hello everybody, I'm Arglefump. This is Pride and Prejudice Blood Ties. I'm going to try to beat this game all in one video, so I will be Elizabeth moving Bennett, rather quickly. Uh, let me be quiet, this is a crazy opening. We will never meet again. Love you all, your Lydia. Impossible! I cannot believe my little girl is sick. Why did she escape with that Wickham? I don't like that man. I don't like how Mr. Bennett says nothing in this scene, even though he's clearly Lydia the centerpiece says of the picture. She's with Wickham at the Rosings, Lady Catherine de Bourgh's estate. I assume they won't stay there too long. Then you have to take her back, Elizabeth. You are her elder sister. She will listen to you. <laughs> That's just so dumb. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, mother. <laughs> I'm going to Rosings. I will bring Lydia home. It's a weird premise. Um, has nothing really to do with the the actual book. E even though we've got a lot of the characters, though. Yeah. So, uh, and no places, Rosings. I have to help. I'm going to Rosings. Huh? What? What's happening? Yes, but in the book, there are no vampire <gasps> bat monsters that attack. No vampires at you all. You will not prevent my happiness with Lydia. I should have stayed at home. Now be a good girl, stay here, or you will regret it. And that is the evil Mr. Wickham. Oh no! And obviously he's a vampire, and that was the Red Witch as well. So we've just, just, just got a bunch of weird stuff happening. Yeah, so uh, Lydia, poor Lydia, is sick, and she ran to Rosings. Uh, ran away to Rosings to get healed from her sickness. And maybe, maybe she also likes the hot Mr. Wickham there. Um, not sure hot would be the correct word to describe him. He, he is rather attractive in the actual book, but um, he's kind of old and nasty here. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but he kind of is. Okay, so uh, yeah, we solved that fragment and hidden objects challenge, which gives us this challenge. Okay, so now we need to uh, find these pieces. Put all of those into place. And that should open open things up a bit. Yes, it does. Okay, great. So we, now we have this puzzle. It's a very simple puzzle. Just create a moon. Like that. Okay, that gives us a, a thing. I'm going to be skipping through most of like the optional stuff, like those letters. I won't be reading them. So you'll just have to pause if you really, really want to read them. Or you could check out my video walkthrough for the game if you want to. Uh, if you want to, that's also an option. The fool to serve my girl. <laughs> Too bad, but you will stay here forever. I won't let you destroy my plan. <laughs> so the Red Witch is basically the final third of the game. Um, is when the Red Witch comes into play. That's all. So you could just forget about her. It, I mean, it's cool she showed up here at the start. Gee, who... Yeah, but, um, yeah. <laughs> she shows up at the start, but we, we won't have to bother with her until, like, the final third of the game, after we defeat Mr. Wickham and save Lydia. We'll be doing those things first. Alrighty, and here we're gonna grab a bone, we're gonna grab the- we're just gonna grab everything here. Just grab all the items we can. Oh yeah, and I need to grab the note, too. Yeah, so part of the- uh, I mean, just one of the results of me kind of trying to rush through the entire game in one video is that maybe- maybe I'll- I'll, like, do things in the wrong order. Slide. It's a lot easier. I, I, not a lot easier, but I mean, it, it's somewhat easier to have an inventory like this, which is just filled with items, rather than having really tiny inventory. Although some people prefer only having like one or two items, because hey, you know what? It's a lot easier to solve puzzles when you only have two items to pick from. So personal preference. But uh, I'll probably just be doing this where it's like, I'll just be grabbing all the items I can, and then I'll worry about solving puzzles. This puzzle's not very good. I don't like this puzzle very much. There are like, let's say 18 pieces that you can mess around with, and they're all different. 
So I feel like if they had, um, you know, only nine, nine different pieces, that would probably be better. Yeah, that would work way better. So like, um, oh gosh, where's the blue one? Here. No, if they only had nine different pieces, though, they, they'd have to, uh, what do we call it? Have duplicate pieces, and that's fine! That would make this puzzle easier! That would actually make it a lot better. I, I would totally prefer uh, the puzzle like that. Okay, so I need a blue and a... Yep, like that. Okay, I need green and blue, like that. I think I've almost got it. Okay. Swap those. Swap those. I think I've got most of the solution. Where am I messing up? Uh, maybe up, uh, up here, up here. There, those two. Okay, yeah. Whew. That puzzle's kind of tough. If you miss, if you miss one, you just totally, totally fail. Okay, there's the witch again. But what on ignore earth her. Is going on here? The important thing is that Wickham turns into a bat and flies away. Die or die. Oh, I guess, and she destroys this bridge. Apparently, it's just a, a giant bridge that leads to Rosings. Normally, like, wow, that's kind of amazing, isn't it? Oh my, that man is a monster, and the witch spirit is after him. Why is the witch spirit after? I don't know. Uh, oh, wait, it's because he has the tonic, right? The witch is going after the tonic, specifically. That's what the witch is going after. Okay, I'm gonna throw the rock over here. Giving me the second fragmented hidden objects challenge. That's what you call these challenges. We just got all these items that are just split across the screen, and you need to find all of them. And I'm not always the best at these. I'm going to use a hint for it. Okay, so that gives us the, uh, the, the, the the Crusader thing. I guess we'll put these symbols, these letters on there, and we'll come back for the other letters later. Here we need to put the candles in the appropriate candlesticks. So, uh, eyeball there, skull, um, okay. No, that's correct. Sun and sun. That is correct. I'm not crazy. Angel and angel. Um, heart there. Moon there. Gem there. That was correct. Game's being a little uh, picky, looks like. And then the final one is the flower there. All right, that gives me a Sith. Gonna grab this, gonna turn it, uh, using the fabrics, I'm gonna turn it into a lantern. I mean a torch. Torch, gonna grab this. Use the sword here and the bench part here. Grabbing these items. Okay, that gives me some wood. And then information about the, the sword hilts. No, information about the potion, I think. Anyway, sword hilt's gonna go over here. Okay, the final Sith. Um, torch is gonna go here. Gonna light the torch here. That was not the final Sith. Okay, final Sith is actually gonna be uh, over here. So rotten wood, that thing, and the lit torch. I could've used my lantern, couldn't I? Yeah, why didn't I use my lantern for that? I had a lantern, the bats are afraid of light. Could've used that. Okay, that gives me the letter D, and then this is going to give me more hidden objects. Okay, turtle, cone, horn, Sherry, I just have this memorized. It's actually not too difficult. This particular one, at least. Some of the others, I don't know. They're kind of tricky. 
Excellent. Okay, so now we get to put uh, these things here, and we're gonna spell out the note. So it was, it was Adrem, A D R E M. That's the first area mostly solved. We have the labyrinth instructions and the lantern. Let's go. This is gonna be a puzzle, not a very difficult puzzle. It looks like we're just gonna go forward. Forward, take a right. A lot of the pathways are like that, where, um, you know, it's sort of like a dead end, really. It's like, yeah, see, I can't possibly go forward, so that's, it's, it's not tough. <laughs> you know, when the, the pathway's done like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go right, and left. Right, and done. Now we get to meet Mr. Darcy. Oh boy, everybody give a warm hello to Darcy after the scene of walking forward. Elizabeth, you shouldn't have come. I must stay away from you. For your sake, it might be dangerous for you to be here. Yes, it's Vampire Darcy. Uh, I still don't know where Lydia is, but I know who can help. My aunt, Lady Catherine. I tried to talk to her, but she dismissed all the servants and closed the doors. Maybe you can get in while I try to find a trace of Lydia. Again, just the story is so strange in comparison to the original. Like, how does she know Mr. Darcy? That was never explained. How does Mr. Darcy know her sister Lydia? It's just like this guy shows up and he says, you know, we, we love each other. Okay. Can I get a bit more explanation than that? Now, in the actual book, um, let's see. They met. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they met at Mr. Bingley's party. But they did also meet each other at, at Rosings. And uh, Lady Catherine hated her. And that was when Darcy first fell in love with her. So Darcy first fell in love with her over the course of a few weeks at, uh, you know, Lady Catherine's. Granted, he was already attracted to uh, uh, Lizzie before you then. But he didn't fall in side. love with her the until this uh, long me. vacation here at Rosings. <laughs> I don't need anyone. As soon as the ritual will be performed, I shall return. <laughs> you know, the game doesn't follow up on this scene, come to think of it. We never see what happens. Why was Lady Catherine talking to the Red Witch? Who knows? We're never going to get followed up on that. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. I wish the game had actually followed up on it instead of just giving us the scene and then stopping there. We're just gonna throw water on this guy, and then we're gonna give him his pipe. Oh, wow. What do you need? Lady Catherine is furious. She ordered to close the doors. If you want to risk talking to her, you'll need my spare key from the terrace door. I can give it to you, but first bring me back my pipe. I've got your pipe here. Yeah, and, and this game's totally ignoring. Like, the reason Lizzie went to uh, Rosings, she wasn't going to Rosings specifically. Um, her best friend married a, a relative who's, who's basically a cousin. And um, he's the uh, preacher at Lady Catherine's little parish here. And she's the richest person in the neighborhood. So she basically basically controls his, his, his little church. So, uh, you know, um, Lizzie was coming to meet them, and uh, Darcy just happened to be visiting Lady Catherine, um, sort of at the time. So he came, came over, hung out, hung out a few times. And, you know, that's, that's when their relationship, it, it didn't really blossom. No, it doesn't really blossom until, like, the final third of the book. So... I, I mean, he, he, he claims he loves her and then falls in love with her, but then um, she totally rejects him. She's like, what? No, I hate you. 
you're you're a terrible person who ruined my sister's life, which is true, he did. And uh, and he's got this, this unsavory backstory, but it's not his backstory that's unsavory. It's Wickham's. He's actually a good fellow. Darcy is. But yeah, this game just completely ignores all that. Whatever, whatever. Let's just go here. Let's go here into Rosings. I don't need to focus too much on how the vampire version of Pride and Prejudice doesn't match the book at all. There are bigger problems besides how these characters know each other. Although that is just kind of annoying that characters from different parts of the book are, are, are friends and know each other, even though they're they're from totally different parts of the book and, and how they connect. It, it shouldn't make sense. Be like a Harry Potter game, putting, you know, characters from book seven next to characters from book one and saying, hey, that's totally fine. That's how it works. It's like, no, that's not how it works. These characters are separated by hundreds of pages. It's, it's just weird to throw them together. Uh, it doesn't matter. Also weird. So I, I mean, just weird. Sister. Lady Catherine well, doesn't know no Lizzie you. outside of Let's the fact that she's Lydia's way. sister. I'll help you if you help me. Especially if if Lizzie is dating really Mr. Darcy. Like Mr. Darcy claimed to be in love with Lizzie, right? So Lady lizards. Catherine should know Lizzie as as Darcy's so, Darcy's beau, right? Her only chance. The wall is and now she's going to explain everything. Put back the mirror. I believe so Wickham wants to become the head me. vampire. He... And he I helped Lydia. Was Lydia was very sick, so he turned her into a vampire to save he her. Know how to Try to and the secret the is that they're all vampires. Yes. Which, I, which I already said. <laughs> And now Lydia's a vampire. Put the one. Now the ladder, dear. Don't worry, Lydia is safe. All right, so I she's the lead vampire because she parents. created this magic the tonic that helps tonic. controls vampires. Oh, that way they don't have tonic. some uncontrollable um, blood urges. Live forever. And they of live forever, so it's a very nice tonic. You can understand why they would make her vampire queen the as a result. Back in its place. Lydia was here, she met Wickham, and it was... I need my tonic back. But the evil Wickham has stolen that magical tonic in order to become the head of the vampires. That's what he wants to do. Uh, and I guess the fact that he um, fell in love with Lydia or Lydia fell in love with him and he turned Lydia into a vampire. That's just completely unrelated to this. I mean, yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that he wants to be the leader of the vampires. It's just, hey, she just happened to fall into his life at the right point of time. Again, it's like, oh, how how did Lydia meet Wickham and then fall in love with him and then run away with him? Yes, that happens in the book, but that's something that happens at the very, very end of the book. After, after we've met Lady Catherine for the last time. Well, oh, wait, Lady Catherine comes back at the very, very end. Yes, sorry. It's still the, like the timeline makes no sense. That's the complaint I'm trying to make here. And... I think I've said it enough. Oh, and here's some important plot information. Our boy, Mr. Darcy, everybody's best friend, Mr. Darcy. He is also uh, a vampire, but he's also, like Lydia, a fresh vampire. So he's a fresh vampire, and he's going to explain it when we, we, we see him again, just in case you didn't read that, or you didn't pay close attention when you were supposed to be reading that um, piece of paper. So to turn, uh, you can turn back from a vampire into a human, provided that you are one of those fresh vampires. Fresh vampires who have not attacked anyone yet. Apparently attacking somebody is just too much. It just makes you too much of a vampire. You can't be redeemed. You can't be human again. And now that I'm saying that, the, the bonus game completely contradicts that and says, actually, wait, there is a way for you to become human again. Because we're going to cast a spell which turns all the vampires back into humans. That's what we're going to do. So all the vampires are going to be undone. Which is nice. Means saving all the, uh, all the vampire people. 
It is nice. That is a nice thing for us to do. Okay, I did not check out any of this stuff here. I was supposed to check this out earlier. Sorry about that. That is for this puzzle that I was trying to look at over here. I'm going to copy this design. And then go all the way back to uh, Lady Catherine's office. And we're going to make clay based on this design. Where do I put it? You have to use it on the thing on the top. Yeah, that's just not intuitive. And let's see. We also have this thing that I need to clean. Okay, I ignored this earlier. Let's not ignore it now. Use the peacock feather into place. Grab that. Grab that. Going to put the tree emblem here into place. Now that's fixed, we're going to grab a piano key and another moon key. Uh, I mean, and a moon key. It's the first one. The second one was right here. That's actually a sun key, though. So we're going to step back. We're going to use the moon key and the sun key here. Give me another dagger and some lamp oil. The two daggers are going to go here. me a star and a small little knife. Um, I believe we're just going to go back outside. Yeah. I think I had this rose earlier. I did have the rose earlier. I could have grabbed it earlier. Okay, this gives me a shuriken and a uh, part of the instructions. Let's go inside. Use the hint to confirm there's nothing I've missed here. Uh, there is something I've missed here. It is that third piano key. My mistake. So let's use the piano keys into place now. Zoom in on the piano, put the keys into place. This is going to give us a simple uh, follow the pattern puzzle. Done. Okay, gives me a picture of that doctor who invented that fantastic potion, as well as uh, more items for this. So we've got the silver shuriken here. Put all three of them into place. Okay, yeah, it gives me two masts, so I put the masts here. Give me another bat. I zoom in on here. I believe I have both mirror fragments. I do. Give me another one of these things. So, I've got several puzzles where you need to just collect multiple items. Um, this one in particular needs us to collect multiple bats for this bat puzzle. And you saw, we just had one that required us to, to get multiple shurikens for the shuriken puzzle. Yeah, so that's sort of why my inventory is full at this point. We're, we're, we're doing a lot of those puzzles. And let's see... Did I swap those two? I did. My mistake. So there's the hidden passage. It's going to lead us to Wickham. We need to put the lamp oil into place. Now we've got only like a, a smaller inventory though. We've got a smaller inventory. So that's how you can tell. We're basically at the end of chapter one here. Uh, the chapters... Uh, the chapters trying to finish my thought here while solving the puzzle at the same time. Yeah, the chapters are basically, it's it's uh, the guide, that guide. See the button in the lower left that says guide? Well, can't see it now because we have a scene. Or you'll die. There's somebody in the tower. Yeah, so that's where Wickham, uh, I, I mean, that's what Lady Catherine told us. She said Wickham was there at the tower. And she was not lying. She was not lying when she said that. 
Okay, we need to get rid of those wasps, so we're just gonna go back a bit. All right, we're gonna put these uh, three disc candles into place now. So the, according to the guide, there's three chapters. This is chapter, we're now on chapter two. Chapter two ends when we finish the stuff at the top of the tower. And uh, obviously chapter three ends with the end of the game. There is a bonus chapter, so I guess you could say there's technically four chapters in this game. You know, however you wanna consider it. Okay, so we have insecticide. And then we're gonna put the sunflower inside the insecticide. You can kind of tell that we've switched chapters too, because we're not really gonna go back into Rosings at this point. We're, we're, we're sort of just going forward. We're not gonna be going backwards. Once you find that hidden passageway, you don't really have to go back to Rosings. Ah, oh, except for the one puzzle. We've got this one puzzle that we do have to go back to Rosings for. Now that we got rid of the wasps, uh, we, we can't grab that rope. So this is the puzzle we have to go back to Rosings for. Uh, why did I go in the cemetery? Hint says I've got a rope right over there. Oh, that's good. But I was actually thinking this puzzle. And you specifically have to uh, trigger this puzzle by going through the door that way. You can't trigger the puzzle through the map. Yeah, so no going through the map on this puzzle. Finally, a key shot, whatever that is. A door thing? Huh. Alright, that gives us the umbrella, and now we're totally done with Rosings. Uh, here in the secret passage, we'll be uh, using the umbrella to grab this. Yep, almost done with that secret passage, too. Where'd that umbrella go? <laughs> Gotta grab the umbrella. And then the final plank is just there on the ground. So we put the planks into place, and then we put the ropes into place. This will give us a challenge. Let's see if I can solve this correctly. I think you have to do this. Boom. Okay, and then this. This puzzle is quite difficult, by the way. Um, this puzzle is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult, actually. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do it. It, it kind of helps to start from the, the, the right. At least that's what's helped me. I could be wrong about that. Okay, good. Good, that's it. Okay, got it. Whew! That was just luck on my part. I I got lucky. Got a good solution. Um, I don't see the other thing. Okay, there it's there. There, there it's there. And then uh, the final thing for this fragmented challenge? I don't know. Um, the other one is pretty simple. We need to find the three keys. Those are easy to find. Those three keys, and then I'll use a hint for this. Ah, it was on the bridge. Okay, that gives us the skulls for the skull puzzle, and we can't solve that moon puzzle quite yet. Okay, so we need to grab a, a moon and a skull here, and really we could just go back and solve those puzzles now, so let's do it. Oh, there's a moon. Ah, I needed a second moon. Okay, then I'll just do the skull puzzle. This puzzle isn't as difficult as the other one. Uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, swap these two, maybe? No, that doesn't work at all. Got it. Okay, there's a solution. Alright, we're gonna go back one. We're gonna use the uh, stone grape here. For the moon puzzle. And yeah, I... You don't have to do it this way, I'm just doing uh, the puzzles in this order. That way we're just finished with this outside area before we enter the tower, really. That's basically all I'm doing here. So that way we don't have to exit the tower. We don't have to go outside the tower anymore. We're completely done with all these areas outside the tower. So now we just have this three-room uh, tower 
which we will try to make our way through. Okay, but first we need to find all these fragmented hidden objects. Let's see, I put the armor chip in here. Oh, oh wait, that opens up this, giving me two items. Sorry about that. I'm gonna grab those items. And then here we're gonna grab all these things. Looks like there's a thing there. Now, let's see the other one. La 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 la. I'm just not good at these challenges. Alright, using a hint. Hint says it was there in the corner. Great, okay, so now we can probably go upstairs. Uh, we put these two things there on the coat of arms. Now I can go up the stairs. I still don't know what that machine does which allows us to go upstairs, but it does. Okay, so we put the bird emblem here. I've got the oil lamp. Oil lamp's looking great. We're gonna open up this. We're gonna use, we're gonna grab the pin. We're gonna use the mirror. We're gonna see Wickham and get scared because he has brown hair. What? That's, that's not a brown haired dude. Wickham's not a brown haired dude. Who is that dude? Did he somehow get younger or something? I don't know. Oh, we have a... Okay, we open that thing with the handle. We put the lamp into place. And now we get a hidden objects challenge. This is kind of neat. I, I do like it. Uh, and the important item is that arrow. Just moving the uh, lantern around wherever you go. I, I like it way better than the, the uh, other hidden object challenge um, that we had earlier. Alright, putting the arrow into place. I'm not going to use it quite yet. I guess I need to open up this first before I can use that trebuchet or whatever we call it. Opening up this. Oh, yes, yeah, because we had to open that to get the crossbow handle. That's what we were missing, the handle. Handle goes there. Okay, it's going to shoot the uh, little soldier guy. Giving us access to the next room, and I don't think any of my items will help me uh, with the puzzle still in this room. So hey, it's Darcy. Hey, Darcy, how's it going? Ah, Elizabeth. Ah, yes, I'm pretty awesome like that. All right, so um, more, more fragmented objects. Oops, looks like I mixed up two of them. All right, so this gives us access to this area. This is the potion. We are making the potion, which will turn you from a human, uh, or from a vampire back into a human. So that's nice, good potion. It is, let me use a hint. Puzzle's kind of random. Oh, 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 this this one isn't. Okay, find the matching objects. That's fine. That's fine. Giving us this knife. And this is the puzzle that's kind of random. We need to get these things into the right spots. But the game doesn't accept some of them, if that makes sense. Okay, so I need to get the bat where the stake is right now. Okay, so I switch the bat with this. So it's some combination, it's that combination, some combination of those things. And that gave us sleeping powder so we can defeat Mr. Wickham. We're gonna talk to oh, uh, Darcy. My dear, I can hardly control myself. Wickham chain me, and probably he's right. I don't know. Uh, like, did Darcy Your not get the tonic, which uh, helps the vampires control their evil vampire urges? Or just the urge is too strong during this blood red moon? Maybe that's it's a combination of the two. Can be transformed back to human. You still have some time. You might need the blood of a pure vampire. Use mine, my love. Hurry. I will, sir. My love. 
So we're actually gonna use this blood here. It's gonna be kind of gross. Ew, 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 no. I'm trying to use the flask on it because that is in fact what we have to do. And I'm forgetting what else we have to do here, so I'm just gonna use a hint. Hint says, I forgot to look up here. That's right, okay. This is gonna give me a key thingy? Yeah, star-shaped key. Great, and uh, the items I have are both gonna be used over here for this these puzzles. Just gonna cut this. Giving me one of the ingredients, and then the star-shaped key is gonna go here, giving me another ingredient. No, it's not. It's gonna give me an infinity symbol. And we have another hidden objects challenge. Don't like this one as much as the previous one, to be honest. Hey, I seem to actually be doing pretty well, so maybe I shouldn't complain. Yeah, I, I shouldn't complain. You know what? Best hidden objects challenge of the game. That that thing. You should have listened to me. That area, Lydia best hidden not. objects challenge area, I should say, because both of them together, um, yeah, those are those are definitely in the top three best hidden objects challenges in this game. So that's why I'm saying it's the best hidden objects challenge area. I don't know what the third one would be in the top three though. I haven't been paying too close attention. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay, this goes here. Definitely not that candle one. That candle one, yeah, that one was not my favorite. Interesting note that these things appear in a randomized order. They change every time you play the game. There's only three of them, so it's hard to tell the difference. But it's interesting they made that random. Okay, now we have two of the Ouroboros things, and then we have the, uh, the recipe. Unfortunately, I just happened to get all the ingredients before even trying to uh, get the recipe. What a crazy coincidence. Good. And yeah, so uh, as I indicated earlier, we're coming up on the end of chapter number two here. You can kind of tell because we're getting everything out of our inventory. Everything is just... Everything must go. Let's let's get rid of this stuff. This game's being a little picky. You kind of have to wait for the scene to finish playing before you can put another item into the potion. Oh gosh, this puzzle. Oh jeez, man, this is another. Um, puzzle. Ugh, I hate this one. Okay, so let's... I'm trying to get those purples somewhat in the place. Okay. Game doesn't want that to happen. I think this one goes like this. Yeah. And then that one's gonna go there. And this is sort of the upper left corner of the puzzle. See, because these things overlap, it's a little tough to uh, get them correct. Those two go there, and then this is the purple that was not going in place, but now it is because it's nice now. <laughs> Come on, those two connect. Unless they don't. There we go. Yeah, see? They connected. They connected. I wasn't wrong. I was not wrong. I wasn't lying. I, I swear. Okay, so now we have the smelling salts and, uh, and the tonic so we can save Lydia. Elizabeth? I'm sorry. Do not blame Wickham. I was on the verge of death. Not even the doctors could help me. All Wickham has done is cure me. I know I'm a vampire now. But I but love I him. Yeah, she, she's in love with I him. Love him so uh, much. He means the world he, I mean, to he me. does seem to love Please, her back. Sister, like, he goes go. through all these let great lengths to prevent me from turning her back into Leave a human. Alone. Ah. Ah. 
Yeah, so Wickham must, oh, like, sincerely no, care moon. about Lydia if he doesn't want her to become human again. Fast. But who should I turn back into a human? Doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go with Lydia, because in my main walkthrough, I, uh, went with Darcy. Hey, Lydia, hurry. You should be a human. You deserve to live a normal life, sister. Come back home with me. No! Lydia! See, he's crying. Goodbye, my love. I see you managed to save your sister. Well done. Don't worry. I'll take care of her. Alright, so this is officially Darcy. at the end. Keep an eye um, on what do you call it? Now give me back my tongue. End of chapter two. Forget about everything you saw here. As I said, Live the uh, red witch comes Be back. Free. <laughs> comes back here. Give me that. You say you can win me over. All I need is to perform the sacred ritual, and I will be able to get a body and live forever. Vicky, you won't see it. <laughs> Are you all right? I will get the help and stop that witch. Wait here. I will get the help. I will get the... What is the help that you're trying to get? You're the one who's going to help here, Lizzie. Anyway, let's uh, just find all these things. Yeah. It doesn't matter which option you pick. All the characters get knocked unconscious anyway. They get knocked unconscious very quickly, leaving Lizzie alone. Leaving poor, poor Elizabeth alone. To uh, stop these vampire, not stop the vampires, stop the witch. We've already stopped the vampires, kind of. So I guess Wickham wasn't that evil a vampire. He was just trying to help his true love because cause he loves Lydia. It's just a coincidence he did it at the same time he was trying to take over the vampire kingdom. Alrighty, so here we are. Here we are in the, uh, the garden. Coming up on the end of the game. Because chapter 3, kind of the shortest chapter. Maybe they ran out of oomph after, <laughs> after the first two chapters. Okay, I need to dig here. Oh, right, and I only have the one item, so... There's that, too. We don't have that many items. Because we just cleared our inventory. Okay, so I'm going to grab a plank here, put a tile into place. Great, we need to find more planks, and we need to dig. Alrighty, back here. Uh, looks like we need to find the things to get rid of the snake. Bye bye snake. And then I'm gonna throw these rocks away for some more items. It's a plank and a trowel. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a trowel right over here. Looks like this should give me a mallet, right? It's gonna give me a mallet and then another uh, plank. Mallet and plank. Excellent. Okay, three planks go together. Let me grab that rope first. Is that a wick? That's actually a wick. Okay, it's a wick. And here we go. There's a final tile. Final tile goes over here. That's not the final tile. I need another tile. Okay, let me just double check. Hint says we are going over here. I know I can use my mallet to smash this to pieces, so I'm going to do it. Have to hit it multiple times. And that's the final tile. And then this area we just won't bother with until the end of the game. It's like sort of the last puzzle. Okay, so this is a slider puzzle. Just making moon a moon. Yeah, they, these two pieces needed to be swapped. Done. Okay, give me a key and a fish. A key and a fish? 
No, that's a seahorse. That's a seahorse. Okay, and that opens up the gate. Ah, this puzzle. Okay, so this puzzle is uh, a little bit tricky. A little bit. Not too bad. Um, just move these pieces left and right. Like that. And here we need to get the things for the horse. That way the horse is gonna let us take a look at this. That gives us the idea for the final puzzle of the game. And here we're gonna grind things up for that final puzzle. I don't really have a lot of the things that are being ground up. Okay, let's use the cellar key here. So there are four things we need to grind up. And I do not have the op I, I don't have whatever it is that opens that. Gonna grab this. Alright, use the crowbar here. Can use it all over. Now we're in the witch's area. All right, final area of the game. Just need to find all these doll parts here to start with. One of them's a feather. It's a little odd, why do we need a feather? That gives us a pine cone, which again, a little odd there, but yeah. Like feathers are not part of a pine cone. Not usually, I don't think. Anyway, we're, we're almost done. Okay, I should stop complaining. And that's basically it for this screen. So we're just going to go back. We're going to grind some stuff up here. To grind this cone. This crate key is probably going to give us another item. It's matches... Gonna go back twice. Gonna put our two gems here. That gives us the crystal, which we also need to grind up, so let's do that now. Probably would have been better if I ground all four items at the same time. Yeah, it kind of makes a mess of your inventory, though. Because you've got, like, these four items that are just completely blocking up your inventory. <laughs> yeah. So definitely I probably could have done some better inventory management. But who cares? We're at the end of the game. This is the last puzzle. Actually, wait. That's not it. Sorry. Need to uh, put the powder inside our coconut bomb first. And the wick, obviously, yeah. Okay, so use the matches and then use the coconut bomb. Oh, light the match, then use the coconut bomb. The witch somehow does not hear me drop that thing onto the ground. Very unobservant witch. You might have noticed I completed nine you, out of the 15 achievements. The ritual is Most almost of the finished. achievements in this game are things that you just get by playing the game forever. normally. Uh. So, it, it's impossible to beat the game without getting the majority of, of the achievements. Ah, maybe you were right, Elizabeth. Maybe it wasn't love. I just felt that I owed Wickham. Thank you for saving my life. Now I have a chance to live a normal life again. Yeah, she didn't actually love him. She was just happy that he made her not die. Yeah... I guess, I guess that makes sense. That totally makes sense. So, now let's tackle the bonus game. Hooray. Part 2, Vampire's Curse. Hey, guess what? Well, Darcy is still being controlled by Lady Catherine and the Witch, but if we find this book, it will save Darcy's soul. It's interesting because we have the exact same premise even if you saved Darcy from being a vampire. We still have to go on this quest to save Darcy and all the other vampires. Like 
need to sneak into the house somehow. So this is going to have a lot of exploring, not that much story, to be honest. So not, not too many characters in this particular scene. This particular uh, chapter, I, I guess I could call it a chapter, I don't know. It didn't even really have the word chapter on it. I'm just calling it a bonus chapter because that's usually what they call these, like, you know, DLC chapters and or whatever. I guess sometimes they call them DL. I think DLC chapter. Yeah, yeah. DLC chapter is probably a more common name for it. Although it's not really DLC because I didn't have to pay separately. Oh, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> I bought the version of the game that comes with the DLC chapter. Okay, so I, I probably did have to pay a little bit more for it, but DLC is usually something that you have to buy separately. Oh no! And then here's a scene. Who's there? Lady Catherine, is that you? I didn't mean to step forward there. Uh, no, it's only fog. Uh, back to Rosing's entrance. My mistake. I just, I just clicked on the wrong area. Okay, there's a little birdie. And here is a hidden objects challenge. This one's okay. This... This is a put things back where they're supposed to be challenge. Where's that necklace? Oh my gosh. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this isn't bad. I wondered if they were, you know, planning on having this in the actual main game, but for whatever reason, didn't. Didn't. And so it got put into the bonus chapter instead. Sometimes how it works, it's like, oh, we couldn't do this material in the main game for whatever reason. Well, then it's in the then it's in the bonus material. Yeah, this totally would have worked in the main game. I'll know why it was saved for this but either way we have a stone tile beautiful okay so now i think we go forward to the swamp grab another stone tile over there take a look over here use the bucket yes i can use the bucket here excuse me game don't tell me what i can and cannot do especially when i'm trying to do something i can do La 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 da da. Okay, gotta get all these pieces back together. Okay, that, that there, that there. It gives me a bird cage. It's nice. I have the one bird here. I think the second bird is there. So let me uh, put both birds into place. Good, good. That gives me a crowbar. Uh, put both tiles into place. This is a slider puzzle. This big piece goes in the middle, so that's... It's relatively easy to figure out that big piece goes in the middle. Okay, this has to go in the corner then. Excellent. That gives me a star. And did I not finish something? It was this. Okay, I haven't finished this. Where's that last item? There. Excellent. And then we'll just uh, do two things here. Let's use the bucket of water about this. Gets me the empty bowl. Uh, let's see. I'm supposed to have to heart by now, aren't I? Okay, let's cut this with the uh, pruners. Here's the heart. All right, so the heart goes there, and then the bat goes there. Did them in a slightly incorrect order, but that's okay. That's okay. It's 
Did not waste a lot of time. Crowbar is gonna go over here. Do I need to have a key to the house, though, or is the door just gonna be unlocked? Let's hope it's unlocked. It is totally unlocked. Great. Alrighty, so the ring and the star both go down here. Giving us that thing. And let's see, I'm gonna need to make this book, so let's do it. It's the gardener's book. I think that's it, so we're gonna step outside here. We're gonna put this into place. And this is another fairly decent hidden objects challenge. The problem being that they misspelled the word horn, and so it says Gorn, uh, which is just plain weird. But yeah, it says Gorn. We're trying to find a Gorn. No, it's a horn. But other than that, that's pretty decent. I, you know, I'd put that in the top three like best hidden objects areas of this game. Okay, what am I missing here? Ah, this thing. Okay, that's what I was missing. Okay. Here we go. And good, now we have that apple. So now we can go back into Rosings, take care of this little guy gonna use the cage and the apple to trap it. I am glad they saved this uh, for the uh, the bonus chapter because I don't like the greenhouse area. So I'm glad we didn't get this for uh, for the main game. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Definitely not one of the top three hidden objects challenges in, in my opinion. Hidden objects challenge areas, sorry. Uh, I am doing relatively well though, that's good, I guess. Second version of that challenge is gonna be a nightmare though. It's not gonna be fun. Okay, grab that journal, replace it with this one. That's going to give us a sleep potion recipe, which we will uh, create. Involve sleep flowers. Right, and I still need to find all these... All these things for the various challenges. Is that the wrong one? Wrong one. Yeah, we've got multiple ones. Yeesh. Okay, that's a paperweight. And I need to solve that puzzle to get that book. Right, right, right. I didn't like the parrot. The parrot looks nice. Wish we had a puzzle with a parrot. Wouldn't that be cool, huh? Would have been neat. Yeah, would have loved it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, let's, let's get a move on. Oh, items right underneath it. Okay, that gives us a watering can. Those are both for puzzles later on. All right, hint, I, I, I guess I'll just need the hint to tell me that I forgot to fix this thing. Shouldn't be too tough to fix this. Done. Now I have both gems. Gems go here. I think that was the trap key, wasn't it? So we're gonna go back outside for the trap and then we'll be all finished with this area. Yep, 
Yep, and see, I, I like how we get a thing that says done, you're done with inspecting the swamp. That's a nice thing. I like that. Let's us know we're done inspecting the swamp. Silly scene there. <laughs> um Go away. Vampire servants are still trying to protect their secrets, but they can't stop me. This is an okay challenge. Some of them are kind of tough. And it's basically the exact same challenge that Lady Catherine had us do at the start of the game. When we first met her, we walk into this room and she does this exact same challenge. But uh, we, we have different items. So clearly, I, I feel like, you know, they, they just did the same challenge twice in a row. Where is this flower pot? Okay, that flower pot. That's tough. We've got three distinct flower pots in this game. Also, a problem that it says it goes on the right when it actually goes on the left. Of course, it's just silly to imagine the column was put all the way up there. How is that even possible? That's just silliness. Okay, we got seeds. Hooray! And then we have... Next big puzzle, finding all the other door tiles. Uh, I feel like we need another book. Oh, here's the dragonfly puzzle. Ah, uh, right, right, right. You need to get used to starting every screen with... It's like, just as soon as you go into screen, you've got to, got to solve the fragmented hidden objects challenge. Usually two of them. I... We've, we've had both. We've had multiple ones per screen at this point. Pretty consistently. The final one is this jar. So now we have a jar of dragonflies. This desk is using the paperweight. It's using the heart wings. It's using the inkwell. Gives me the second book. No, that's not it. That's not the second book. This is just information about the final puzzle of the game. Why would it be the second book? Silliness. Just because it's the exact same color and shape as the other books? Ha! Ha ha! Oh boy. Boy, they sure fooled me there. I don't know. I'm being mean. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so mean. I just... Eh, bothers me. Okay, Jar of Dragonflies has to be used on the left to be placed on the right. I don't know why. Okay, so we've got the Sleepy Potion. We're going to use it over here on this thing for book number two. Because just reaching around it... Too simple. Too simple. Far too simple. And here's the hidden objects challenge. So I feel like this is definitely one of my favorite, you know, in the top, in my top three favorite uh, hidden objects challenges of the game. Simply because we spend so much time in this room and going through the room, we know what the room looks like, so it really helps with that hidden objects challenge. <laughs> it just helps a ton, you know? Anyway, that's me. It, it, you know, that, that makes it a little different from the other hidden objects challenges, which are mostly on screens we haven't seen before. Whereas it's like, okay, it's a hidden objects challenge in a screen we're already pretty familiar with, because we had those putting away challenges earlier. So. That's just me. I could be wrong. Okay, we've got this the scraper. The scraper's going to give us the tile. We're going to use the tile over here, so now we can go through the door. After solving this door puzzle, of course. Okay, now for Lady Catherine's bedroom. 
This time I was ready to meet you, disgusting bats. So let's do this challenge. Let's do the left one first, maybe. I'm trying to do the left one here. Um. Whew. I'm not seeing any of them. Okay, let's do the right one instead. Uh, yeah, this looks easier. So you just need to find all the various symbols on the screen which match the one on the bat's stomach. Usually there's three of them. There's three of them. I'm still finding none of these. Like, that's not it. Okay, got all three of them, and now the bat in the middle. Uh, it's the the ones that sort of look like the number five. That one has four. Mm. I don't know why the bat in the middle gets extra rounds. I guess they just weren't done with that challenge. Somebody accidentally programmed a, 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 a fourth round of the challenge, even though the, the note said we only need three. So they're like, hey, guess what? One of the bats has two rounds now. Just guessing. That's, that's a silly guess on my part. But who knows? It could be close to the truth. All right, there's that doll. Here we need to find these skull pieces. That one's actually pretty simple. Okay, we, 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 we did the bat skull. We're gonna grab scissors here. Then we're gonna use our signet ring here. Open up that. I don't think we have anything here yet. We don't have, oh, we have the skull. Okay, let's do this puzzle. Is it bottom? I think it's bottom, bottom, and then up. Yeah, bottom, bottom, up, bottom, up. So it gives me one item, and then the other item we need a, a bat thing for. I'm gonna cut this twice. Put the statuette down, grab that sign. And that gives us access to the library, which is the next room. Okay, so let's find these two items here. Oh, gosh. What? Oh, I can't even see that thing. Okay, the other one I should be better at. Or not. Um, let's see. Arm trousers and the shirt. Give me a doll. And we have a hidden objects challenge here. This one is okay as well. I kind of like how, you know, a little close up zoom of the screen. So that makes it a little easier. I don't know what this other item is. It's circular. I see lots of circular items. I wish the glasses had been one of the items we have to find. Oh, that's that really tiny small thing on the scroll. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's a Darcy doll. Okay. Let's find the last thing for this. It's gonna go up here in the upper right. It's dark, so I'm using my burning lamp. Grabbing the other letter. Should give us access to the final room of the game. Oh, and there's the key. So it's soul, S, O, U. L. I don't think I have the handle. Do I? I do not. So we're gonna go uh, back to the greenhouse, I imagine. Back to the greenhouse. Using the shovel. 
The seeds, uh, I need to cover up those seeds. Also gonna use the watering can. Use the watering can. That's a beautiful flower. I thought I had a second hidden objects challenge here, but maybe it's later on. Okay, let's go back to Catherine's office. I know I have this key here. Okay, that's the paper. It's Lady Catherine um, revealing her regret, her intense regret. And yeah, now we have that second hidden objects challenge. Her intense regret at becoming a vampire now that she's lost Darcy forever and she's lost her daughter forever. Don't know how she lost her daughter forever. Game doesn't even try to explain it. Yeah, no, I, I am curious now. And solving this puzzle gives us that thing of meat in the upper left-hand corner. Right, and then the hair clip over here. All right, let's go uh, back over here. Y you can see we're mostly, we're, we're getting close to the end of the game. Most of those rooms on the map are, are now uh, listed as complete. Excellent. There's the handle, so we'll use it to go down here. Go into the basement, the final room of the game. And here's Lady Catherine waiting for us. We kind of saw her at the start of the bonus chapter, and now we actually get to see her. Don't be afraid of me. I can no longer hurt anyone. If only I could fix everything. My life is lost. But you can still save Darcy. Find the book and perform the I ritual. I love how her face moves, but her hair stays in place. That is just silly. Okay, I need something to open up that because I don't know how to open up letters on my own. Are you crazy? That's sort of that's sort of impossible. That's like an impossible magician trick to open up letters on your own. Like what? Who can even do that? Answer? No one. So that's why we have to create this particular magic item that opens up letters for us. Yes. It's called a letter opener. Or a paper knife. Giving us a bat, and then it's got the thing about turning vampires back into humans. Great. Okay. I think I was still looking up stuff here. Got a couple of things here. Uh, I guess here's the second tile. There we go. That's it. So now I've got the tiles. So, okay. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Giving me that thing for this puzzle. I don't have the bowl of water for this puzzle yet, do I? Okay, instructions go down here. It says we need the crystal. It says we need that particular magic flower and we need the other two magic items. So I'll use my map to tell me where I need to go. Back into the bedroom, maybe? use the bat over here yes that's gonna give me one of the ingredients the red one let's go back to the library I feel like we've got a second hidden objects challenge this one is putting things back where they go this one's okay I don't enjoy it as much as the one outside um, by the water by the water fountain still fun I guess yeah I mean I wouldn't like get rid of this I, I wouldn't like remove it from the game because it's terrible because it's not that terrible it's just I don't like it as much as the others 
I think I like the one in the, the Lady Catherine's office room better. Yeah. Okay, no rune on the necklace. Ball is somewhere around here. Mortar and pestle. It's as an integrally. I like that that I don't even know what the they're trying to say. It's like they, they are it's integral for uh, the mortar and pestle to be together, maybe. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the key here. It's the final one. Using the key open the box, giving me the final figurine. That's Lady Catherine's figurines, so we're gonna put the figurines into place. It's me and Darcy. Only the villain's figurine is missing. What? There's no missing figurine there. Huh? Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hint's probably gonna take us back to the basement. Where I missed something. Did I miss something in the basement? Did I? I did. Okay, yeah. That's why I wasn't able to make any progress. I missed something. Alright, let's find these two items that I missed. They are parts of a bowl. Parts of a bowl. And oh, it's not going to be that obvious that I missed something because we had to come back here anyway. Because, yeah. We had to come back here anyway. Good. And now we have the other rose thing. So that's going to be taking us back Back to the library, put the two rows things. It still would have been nice to have both roses in my inventory at the same time, you know? So I put the two rose things into place. Now I get the one flower. The one flower is going to go over here as well as the blue stone. It's going to give me the final ingredient for the potion. I need to rearrange everything according to the diagram. Good, and this should save, uh, this, this is it, last puzzle, just move your mouse all over the screen, find these five things, and that should save our friend, Mr. Darcy. There we go, found them all, game done. Do I need to click out? No, I don't. Yes! The ritual worked! All the souls have returned to their bodies. Everyone has become human again. Including these two guys. We don't know where they're from. And even my beloved Mr. Darcy. Now we can live happily ever after. Yeah, I don't know who those two guys are or where they're from. Anyway, that's it. That is it for uh, Pride and Prejudice Blood Ties. Thank you very much for watching me play this entire game in one video. If you'd rather see me take the game at a slower pace, I do have a video walkthrough for the game available. You can check that out. You can also check out my video game, the Courting of Miss Bennett, A Pride and Prejudice Tale. It's a text-only video game, which I wrote myself, and I get a quarter of the profits. So if you buy the game, a quarter of it will go to me. Yay! I get one whole quarter. Hee <laughs> hee!